In this segment, I want to talk about attributes in Kumu. Initially, trying to describe attributes is, might be considered akin to trying to describe water to a fish. We are so immersed in attributes around us all the time that we seldom think of them um, in the way that one ends up using them in, in Kumu. An, an attribute is, is simply a characteristic assigned to something else. If you think of a person, a person can be male or female, they can have a height, a weight, an eye color, a, a, race, a race, a nationality. All, all of those things are attributes of a person. Though person is an attribute of a more generic entity called, I don't know, living being or so whatever. So in, in Kumu, initially, the fact that an entity is an element, a connection, or a loop is an attribute of that entity. So that this was defined to be an element when I created it. So the generic thing in Kumu is just an entity. And I initially define them to be elements, connections, or loops. When I define this to be an element, there are a number of characteristics for an element that, that come with it simply because it's called an element. It has a, a label, it has a type, has a description, has one or more tags, and the ability to assign, assign an image to it. Those are all attributes of the connect of the element. It just so happens that elements, connections, and uh, loops have mostly the same attributes. So that if you look at a connection, it has a title, the possibility for a type, a description, and a set of tags and an image. So kind of wonder how you end up displaying an image on a connection as opposed to um, the way it's displayed on um, a connect on an element. I guess I'm going to have to take a look at that and see how that makes sense. <laughs> Beyond that, so the question then is what what can you do with these attributes. The type attribute is a unique kind of attribute in that an entity can only be of one type. It only allows you to assign a single type. Now while I've in this particular project I've defined plus minus blue and red as types, I can define new ones and what happens here is that that this Tom and Jerry are both animals, and I, in the perspective for this project, I have defined an element type of animal to have a size and, and a color. I've also defi defined the element type of food to have a size and a color. And there are a very large number of, of attributes that you can assign values for to decorate a model. There are additional uses. So, so decor, de determining or defining how you want to decorate a model is something that you can do with attributes. You can use the existing types, tags, or you can define new attributes depending upon what it is that you're trying to do with the model that you're developing. In, so in terms of developing new ones, if you come down here and say new attribute and you say, I'm just going to call it test, and I hit enter, I then have a new attribute which I can define to be a string or text or, or a URL number or currency. can be one or more of them, like I said, Types can only be one, but tags, there can be multiple. Is it a general category or a new category? And you can define categories so that you can group attributes together. 
is it a public attribute that anyone using accessing the project can see or is it private that only the people developing the project can see the, this is the name test that I had to it and this settings are, it's just an access to all of these things on a, on a, on a pop-out light box and the last one is relevance which means I can identify which types this particular attribute is appropriate for. Now that you, you've already seen that in that there are certain things that are appropriate for an element that aren't appropriate for a connection that aren't appropriate for a loop. So that in this situation there would be I could define a new attribute that's only relevant to those elements that I define to be animal because they're not relevant to to food or places. So on that particular screen I can go ahead and say that that this attribute is relevant to all of them or it's only relevant to um, animals or food or places or, or things of that nature. So that's sort of an introduction to what types or what attributes are. In the, in the next video, I'll go ahead and, and actually provide you with a view of some models that have used attributes for some, some very interesting uses in terms of of the way that it manipulates the data. The limit of what one can do with attributes is essentially just limited by your imagination and what it is that you're trying to accomplish. It's, it's a very powerful aspect of the environment so that rather than simply having the developers give you a set of attributes and say that's what you have to work with, for each of the types of entities that you can initially create, you can extend the set of attributes to accommodate whatever it is that you're trying to keep track of within the context of the project. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.